A little-known school in Mukuru Kwanjenga slums has residents hopeful of the future and excited about the opportunities that are likely to open up for children after an exemplary performance in the 2021 KCP exam. Now, out of 20 candidates from the Bridge Academy that sat the exam, two girls scored 401 marks each, with the lowest candidate posting 275 marks. Emily Chabet has more. For the last eight years, Joyce Kemunto braved a one-hour walk five days a week in this slum environment just to quench her thirst for education. Despite the muddy patch that comes with living in informal settlements, Joyce pushed the limits, managing to post impressive results in KCPE, posting 401 marks. I didn't expect to get these marks because the last paper was tough for me, but I tried my best and I beat the odds. Her classmate Florence Kwamboka shares a similar script. The hardship notwithstanding, Kwamboka got a push from her parents and teachers, defying the odds to score 401 marks. Nothing comes easily, no pain, no gain. So it has been really tough. We live in slums, environmental challenges. Obviously, there are sickness. It has been really a great journey. Despite the challenges the two girls have faced in the process of sharpening their future, their dreams are still burning within. I would like to join Alliance Girls. I would want to become a neurosurgeon because I'm interested in health concerning the nervous system, especially because you can't replace the nerves once they're destroyed. I want to join Alliance Girls and I would like to pursue my career as an architect. There is poor housing in slum, so even studying sometimes is hard when it's rain. So. We had uh, uh, 20 people sitting for the exams and I'm very happy that uh, we really did well. Our last people had 275 which is a very good uh, marks for the people regardless of the challenges. Whereas the community school like Bridge Academy has offered a ray of hope for the residents of Mukuru Kwanjenga, it can only accommodate 500 learners and the rest have to look for public schools in the neighborhood which are hard to come by. <laughs> Emily Chebet, Citizen TV, Nairobi.